Hello and good morning. Hope everyone's keeping well. Uh, and for me, actually, it's it's good to be back on the videos. But um, yeah, so what have we been up to lately? We've just been preparing for our travels, haven't we, really? We have, yeah, and it's, it's a very busy time at the moment, isn't it? So we have not um, really... Uh, we've gone out a couple of times, but uh, the last couple of weeks now we've we've just tried to prep the motorhome, haven't we? Yeah, so I have packed all my clothes and somehow managed to squeeze them into the wardrobe and the cupboard above the bed on my side. Um, I'm sure I've still got too much than what I need. Yeah. Um, because we can do laundry and that while we're out there. Um, but I just need to make sure I've got everything for all weathers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what is actually happening then so um we planned for europe um we have said it in past vlogs um so we're doing a month out in europe uh, however before that we are actually off to the overlander show um and um heading straight from europe from there really aren't we so yeah. so the plans are overlander show for the weekend from next uh, from thursday uh, when this video is going out um we will be there so come and say hi um, also, we're then off to Kent for an overnight stop, ready to get the uh, the train on the Monday morning. Yeah, and if you want to come to the Overlander show and you haven't got your tickets yet, if you go on there and use the discount code SM10, yeah. um, you'll get a discount for that. Yeah, That's and even if it's it? yeah, even if it's day tickets uh, and yeah. you're just popping in for the day. Obviously, this vlog's going out Thursday, so um, the show starts on the Saturday and the Sunday, uh, I believe. So camping from the Friday. Um, yeah, so um, just going on and we talk about what we've done to prep, I suppose. Yeah, apart from packing my clothes, yeah. <laughs> what else have we done? <clears throat> so what have we done to actually prep then? So the first thing is uh, looking at the insurance company. So we are with Comfort Insurance. It's cost me, I think, around £500 for the year and insurance ain't cheap at the moment anyway. Um, but with that, you get uh, European cover. So we are covered um, for the European countries. So that, that's an easy, easy one to do. Also with that, then we've been looking at different European breakdown insurance. Obviously it's a new van, but you never know what's gonna happen out there. Um, however, on looking, it is, it's not been that cheap to look at, but Jody found something, didn't you? Yeah, so I, my bank account with Nationwide cost me 13 pound a month and with that i get mobile phone insurance travel insurance and european breakdown cover recently i'd say a year or so ago um because i've had this bank account for ages they've changed who they use for their breakdown they use um aa now so i rang them up and asked about the european cover and asked about does it cover motorhomes and we are within the diameters um our size motorhome uh, is eight meters maximum and we're just under that yeah um, I asked if it covered uh, the, the vehicle being taken back home, if if anything did happen. Uh, yes, we've got the top cover because of my, I've been paying it from a bank account, which I didn't realise. Mm. Um, but that saved us um, having to worry about a like five hundred pound yeah. or something again. I wasn't think it, we for... were getting quotes in the region of five hundred pound yeah. just for to to cover us to go to Europe, and it was probably up to six hundred pound if you wanted it as a year. But if you wanted it just for that period, it was another again another around five hundred quid. As long as I'm in the vehicle when it breaks down. Um, then we're covered, but yeah. I can't see me not being in the vehicle if anything no. happens. So, um, <laughs> no. so, so we are, we are covered. That's that's the only so criteria. So we, we're going to go with yeah. that. So that's the uh, that's the breakdown all covered. So that also means because of my bank account, we have travel insurance. So it's for me and a partner and anyone under eighteen, really. So it just obviously that now that's just me and you. Yeah. Or if we took Abby anywhere, yeah. Um, because the rest of our children are over eighteen, um, but it does cover cover me and you which, yeah. it, which is good and and it's um covers european for yeah. 30 days um anything over 30 days you've got to phone them up and speak to them so i think yeah. they might put like a so, cost on there so that's good that's like the extra cover but always uh we have got the standard uk um global health insurance cards um and they are up to date um so obviously anything standard that you would get on nhs uh, most European countries, as long as you've got the global health card, um, you'll get covered via NHS anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but it's always good to have that extra 
um, insurance, private insurance, because you just never know. Right. Certain things then we've got for the van. So um, the light deflectors, obviously it's a must and it is law to have them standard on your vehicle uh, while you're traveling in Europe, obviously driving on the uh, the other side of the road. Did you get that in a pack though? Or did you? Get yeah, that so too? I got that in a pack. I've got two high-vis vests because I know in France there's certain uh, rules when traveling, spare bulbs, etc., and stuff like that. Um, I don't believe you need the um, uh, alcohol uh, testing kit anymore, you know, your breathalyzer set. Um, however, I've got the triangle, and that comes within a kit easily to buy on Amazon um, as a standard kit. So that covers anything with the vehicle, and if we do break down. Also, being the size of the vehicle, we're over three and a half tonne. So we need the uh, angle mortar stickers, again off Amazon, easy to get. So I've got three that are magnet, so I'll put the magnet ones on either side of the cab. Uh, I will take them off in the evening, uh, as I've heard rumours and stuff like that of people having them go missing uh, overnight. Uh, also with that then we've got the sticker ones, because it's not magnetised on, on the habitation side, uh, I will stick the sticker uh, at the rear of the, uh, the the vehicle. So that that covers then the um, you know the vehicle and its driving state. So we'll be legal in that country. So just talking about some documentation then. Um, so documentation, obviously you've got your standard things like your passports, etc. Um, but with the vehicle, just making sure that you've got your V5. Uh, form with you a copy of your insurance documents and uh, health um, insurance documents etc um, and also having a driving license it's always good to take a photocopy of any of these and keep them in a separate place just in case you do lose them you know I've done a fair bit of traveling over my time and um, you know if you lose something and need to get a passport again or something like that if you've got a photocopy then it helps out massively so Always have photocopies of, of backup to back up your documents, basically. Yeah, so later on today, I'm going to be looking at mm. anything that we need to print off. Um, I've got a Nirex folder that's got the plastic pockets in. So we're just going to put everything that we think. We might even overdo it, but at least we've got more yeah. rather than less. Um, <laughs> so like my breakdown cover, all that kind of stuff is going to go in there as well. Yeah. Um, just make sure we've got everything, like numbers that we might need to phone. I'll probably write them down big on the paperwork, things mm -hmm. like that. So we've... It's there to hand. It's there if we need it. Yeah. And also, actually, on, online there is actually a, um, a document that's basically if you do break down in Europe, and it's basically a tick list of everything you need to go for. Oh. At the moment, I can't remember exactly what that document is, but I will put the name of it uh, down on the screen now. On our travels then, um, what I suppose apps or uh, I suppose books out there available for you to find your locations where you're going to stay obviously you've got a multitude of airs service stations okay supermarkets um, campsites um, but there's a few things that we use and we're going to use um, and there's a couple of them of the apps that a lot of people are aware of but apps are great but if you do lose signal or you lose your power you, you're stuck you don't have mm. you know so always have backup with a map or books so you know where you're going i'm a strong believer of that yeah definitely and, yeah. and you know the, the apps we've got are search for sites and park for night mm. they're quite a, a good one to use um while you're abroad however um we have got a couple of the, the books then so um we've got the camping card AC uh, SI card um, and this is basically discounted campsites um, I will put the um, link to the uh, website uh, below but it cost me about 20 euros I think it was 21 euros for the year now it covers um, northern and southern Europe and you get two books that cover that but within there they have got a website as well but you've got pictures the prices and you can get good discounted um, sites out of season so if it's um, like now when we're going they class that as out of season and we get discounted prices on different campsites so that's always a good thing to have you can be 
um limited with that though because not every campsite um allows that but if you're happy with where you're going that's fine but then if you see a campsite you'd like to go to and it's not on there you may be paying a little bit more maybe double some in some yeah, cases yeah. so it's not every single campsite books you've got some more books as well haven't you yes so we got recommended these and it's basically all the airs so it's the sixth edition um we've got um so this one's for Spain and Portugal. This one's for uh, Northern France. And then we've got a, a big one here for Southern France. Um, and yeah, so again, I will put the link in the description for um, these Airs books. But what I like about them is if we open it up, okay, you get a big old map. Okay, so it's a lot easier. Uh, yeah, so it's just a lot easier if you're looking on the map. Uh, <laughs> hi, Jody's face. There's Calais up here, okay. And you can plan um, basically your route. You can use Google Maps and that for time and, and see the distance and stuff like that. But you've got all the numbers, and then you search through the book, okay. And um, within the books, That's South France, if we just yeah. open it up, it, it's got all pictures everything like that it's um what services it's got on the air and stuff like that again you can find all this information online um but if you're heading off and you've got a big map in front of you you can pretty much circle where you want to be look at the distance of travel and say right okay that's where we want to be and you've got a set amount of airs around there and you can already pick your ones and a backup one um before you've even set off yeah because um, we're not actually planning things rigidly because even though that would kind of make me feel a little bit better that we've got a plan the only plan we've really got is obviously the tunnel timings and benadorm which is for a week isn't it yeah, yeah. so we've got does it say 10 days to get to benadorm no no we've got six, six nights to, six nights to get to benadorm from yeah. right so that so that's the only thing we've really got planned yeah um yeah. But these are great because then if we're moving on, um, we can either have a quick look at an app, yeah, which we'll go to first, yeah, um, you know, and, and if we can't, like I said, if the battery's low or there's no signal, we've got these as a backup, or yeah. we might want to like look at these first. We, we, well, yeah, we, I mean, we it's, it's the map. That's what I like yeah. about it. It's okay going online and then having the map in front of you and looking that way. But it don't really open it up and give you all the information at once. Not so even. So we could look for so, something on on the app and then go to the map and just secure that, can't we? In yeah, 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 exactly. So, so yeah. they're they're really good. And like I say, we put the uh, the link in the description for mm -hmm. for them. Uh, and they do a lot more books for a lot more different places out there. So, um, yeah, so that's a good thing. So when I was saying about Benadorm, our plan, even though we haven't got a rigid plan, our plan is that we're heading down um through france and just sort of hopefully the one or two night stay um and then round the coast and um, sort of past barcelona um, and see where we end up down that way heading towards benadorm mm -hmm. and if we get chance after benadorm we'd like to head a bit further down maybe gibraltar isn't yeah it? heading towards gibraltar probably and then yeah. and then back up but we are looking we're not sure where we're going to be stopping yet um, we don't want to do the norm if we can help it that a lot of other people have done yeah. um, just because it's been done and we want to show you something different mm -hmm. um, uh, but there might be one or two that are very similar yeah. um, and then we head back up through France again and, and home but we've got a month yeah. out there haven't we? Yeah so a month out there so like we say so the plan is Thursday is Overlander show and that's taking yes. us till Sunday Sunday we leave the show probably around midday and we're heading towards Kent and we're staying in Camp, uh, Canterbury on a little um, CL site there for the evening. Uh, we have got electric um, just to make sure we've got our batteries and everything topped up. Because we've got up. no electric at the show. So no electric at the yeah, show. Yeah, we just so, want to make sure we're charged ready to know, go. We can, we can last for quite a few days with what we use anyway in the van, but we just want to make sure that everything is topped mm. up and we don't have to be a bit tight on electric when we're at the show. Yeah, so final um, charge before we go. Yeah, uh, and then it'll be the Monday morning, uh, nice and early, um, heading for the the Euro Tunnel or the Le Chateau as they call it nowadays, um, and ready to to board. 
Um, 35 minute crossing, I believe, 35 minutes, and then we'll be across into Calais. Um, and once we're across there, we have already sort of circled our first location, but we won't give that up just yet. No, that's because it might not even end up there. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. So no, change, just, it's a circled change. one. That's yeah. it, it's just circled. <clears throat> um, yeah, so with the Euroton and everything, I'm not 100% sure of it because um, I don't like the idea of going under the sea, if I'm honest. Mm. Um, because it's 35 minutes, I think I'll be fine. I prefer ferries. Um, yeah. then, then, but because but, it ended up cheaper, didn't it? And the best yeah, way, so the quickest way of doing things. With the Tesco Club mm. Card vouchers, I got £150 off, so it only cost us a £100 return ticket on the, the, the train rather than about £1,500 on the ferry to Santander. So uh, for me, it was worth it, even though I'm going to burn off a bit more fuel. Uh, on the miles just to get there it was still cheaper than getting the ferry yeah um yeah so i'll be fine it's only 35 yeah. minutes yeah. i'll be all right um, so i suppose what's happening with our vlogs then so um, yes. yes we're not doing them anymore <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> don't say that <laughs> they're gone <laughs> um so what's happening with our vlogs so we will i like to pick the camera up more than Lee does uh, and there's a reason that Lee doesn't pick the camera up as much as me because I end up with too much footage. So because I'm like that, we're going to be putting a bit more raw material in, not as edited, um, and we are going to be doing more vlogs. Yeah. Because I am definitely, because there's going to be so much to see, I'm definitely going to be picking the camera up. So yeah. we're going to go for two a week to start off with. We're going yeah, to go so we're Tuesday stick and to Thursday, see how we get on with stick that. Stick to two a week. We're going to, uh, yeah. after th this one's um, gone out, um, the next one you will get would be on the next Thursday. And next Thursday is going to be the Overlander show um, and all about that. And then from then, after that Thursday, it'll be on the Tuesday. And the Tuesday will be literally travelling down to Kent to get the tunnel and us getting across. Um, and then, yeah, the vlogs will carry on from there. So every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and that will probably be for the next, I would say, month and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and just see how that goes. I mean, we will update you on that as we go through anyway. Yeah. So yeah. that's fine. Um, so the show then, we are heading off there on Thursday, as we've said. Uh, there will be other YouTubers there. I think there's a YouTuber area. We haven't really sort of parked on a YouTuber area yet, have we? No. So no. it's going to be a new experience to us. But apparently there's quite a lot of people there. Um, so you are welcome to come and say hello if you find that area. We'll yeah. give you a sticker. We're quite happy with that. We'd love to see you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so if you are around, please do. I uh, don't think we don't want you visiting because we do, don't we? Yeah, we love <laughs> we it. Do. Yeah. We do. We love people. Yeah. We love talking to people. You know, <laughs> I can talk for England. So that, that's um, what's happening now for the next month and a half. Um, and I hope you enjoy our European trips, whatever comes of that, because um, we don't know yet. Um, but I think it'll be fun. Yeah, so it's quite exciting because the Overlander show in itself is exciting. Um, and then after that, we're going on our, tra our travels. So that's exciting. So yeah. it's um... exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where she was going with that, but it's exciting. I'm just it's excited, exciting. that's all. I'm just excited. It's getting I'm one of, these, <clears throat> one of these people that I don't get excited until right near when you go in and it's it's um in a couple of days time so yeah, i'm starting to get excited so i mean with that while we're out and about and our vlogs are going out and you've got suggestions um of different areas we could visit things we could see um anything really tips and tricks you know always put mm -hmm. them in the comments we'd love that we'd love you know that. um yeah we may have moved on from an area, but hey, we, we're, we're open to even going back to an area. So put them in the comments as we're traveling um, and yeah, give us the ideas and inspiration um, and we, we'll go off and, and, and do that. So oh, it's all good. Yeah. Just thinking, I mean, we will remind you this again, um, but when we come back on the Friday, which is the 20th of October, yeah, we will be attending the NEC in Birmingham as well, just for that yeah. one day. For the one day. So if yeah. you are planning on going in there on the Friday, come and say hello, 
um, just in case we forget to tell you another point, yeah. um, come and say hello for the NEC on Friday the 20th. We'll be wondering about So the with NEC. that, you know, as always, it's um, very much appreciated to everyone that's um, subscribed to the channel. It is um, great to, to see the community still building uh, yeah. and the support via your comments from everyone um, has just been amazing. Um, we never expected this uh, to, to be going like this, but we absolutely love it and we will keep um, doing our best to give you the best content. Um, we, we're, we, we can. Well, we, we can, can and yeah. we will yeah. obviously grow with that. Yeah. So um, thank you, thanks again and thanks to everyone. Yeah, and if you are watching this and you're interested in our vlogs and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe it's um, free everybody asks that and it is free yeah but it does actually help us so um it'd be appreciated if you did actually press subscribe um and obviously you've got the notification bell so you can see things up first especially when we're going to europe at least then you know when we're posting exactly so, exactly yeah. that so um, with that then uh, we will catch you on the next vlog um from the overlander show yeah see you later see ya.